know you've been hurt by someone else. I can tell by the way you carry yourself. But if you let me, here's what I'll do. I'll take care of you. you know, we're an approaching an anniversary, and, and they'll replay the same sad pictures that seared into our memories. The broken levis, the water rushing through the streets, the mothers holding their babies in the air to avoid rising waters. As soon as you say I'm from New Orleans, the very next question is, oh, were you there for the storm? Yeah, I was there. Oh, so did you lose everything? Uh, yeah. You know, and people don't mean anything rude by it. They're just being inquisitive, but there's only so many times you can say I lost everything. You know. For the Lord, there are those that say that this is the city that care forgot. But thank you, Lord, that you have not forgotten us. In getting ready to talk to you today, I thought about what Jesus said. At the end of the Sermon on the Mount, he said, the rain descended. And the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it did not fall, for it was founded on the rock. Well, how did they paint the ground? They were putting mirrors on the ground. Some people say that they're not coming back because they're scared that the levees will rise again, but we hope that that don't happen. Uh, there's still a lot of teachers who had to leave after the hurricane hit and haven't come back. What do you think I need to be doing as president to help your community? Rebuild the schools. Is there anything else you'd like to see happen? You see in this community, in this very beautiful community that pre-Katrina was just the epitome of the American Middle dream. Place, right. a beautiful, well-kept community. Right. Folks have paid for their homes and now you see the threat that many of these people may just lose their properties. Every necessity that we need to rebuild our lives, it's as if we are under siege. And just during this tour, we heard about the problems in terms of schools not being rebuilt, hospitals that uh, have not gone back to previous levels, water and sewer systems that are still not yeah. uh, working up to speed. And so this is an area where the local community is going to have a difficult time doing it on its own. It's got to have some federal help. So I was looking at the news the other day, and this comes to my question. They were saying that um, we were going to have people coming in, such as yourself, such as Hillary. But then once you leave, that you would have no use for Louisiana. And I want to know, is that the truth? So this is an absolute commitment that I have, uh, no matter what happens. In my uh, election, this is something that I think has to be done. And the reason I think it has to be done is because I think it is a symbol of what kind of country we are. If we don't get this right, then it tells me that we as a nation have forgotten to look out for one another. Here at First Emmanuel, you know what it means to have a foundation built on the rock. It's not about just building a structure to withstand a storm is what happened in this building during Katrina. Your doors were open to people who needed shelter. You offered a place of refuge. You acted on that simple principle, I am my brother's keeper. I am my sister's keeper. So, so we all fighting to, to return to this neighborhood. You know, we want to rebuild the city. If we, I mean, I came back the day after the storm and I put my family, secured my family and I came back and did rescue. I decided to come back because I, I missed home. Um, and, not, and not in the sense that I was homesick, but I missed the things that are characteristic to New Orleans. I missed knowing where the great coffee shops were and the great restaurants. the way that we speak. I miss the French Quarter. I miss, you know, my parents' home. I miss New Orleans. And more than ever, I wanted to be here. I don't want to come back 
10 years later and, and say, oh wow, you guys did great. I want to be a part of it in some way. And in 10 years and in 100 years, let people come here and say, this is where the renewal began. Let this place be where it was said that the people came together to build that foundation and the deep darkness was replaced by the light of hope. Ha <laughs> ha!